Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In the system design tutorial series, today we are going to see about CAP theorem, one of the very important and essential theorems in distributed systems. Distributed system is a group of system working together so as to appear as a single system to use it. Here, the systems are connected using network. In the CAP theorem, C stands for consistency, A stands for availability, and P stands for partition tolerance. CAP theorem was first advanced by Professor Eric A. Brewer during a talk he gave on distributed computing in 2000. If you try to draw a triangle with three sides as consistency, availability, and partition tolerance, the CAP theorem states for any system only one edge is possible out of these three edges. That is, for a given system, it is only possible to achieve two in this three, that is, consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Here, the CPH delivers system with consistency and the partition tolerance at the expense of availability. When the data is shared across multiple nodes, the system has to shut down the non-consistent or out-of-sync node and makes it unavailable until the partition is resolved. The APH delivers system with availability and partition tolerance at the expense of consistency. In the presence of data shared across multiple nodes, all the nodes remain available, but these nodes which are out of sync might return an older version of data than other nodes. When the partition is resolved, these systems typically resync the nodes to repair all inconsistencies in the system. This is achieved using eventual consistency. CAH delivers consistency and availability. Here, there is no partition. Every data resides in the single node. Traditional SQL systems are example for this where we can scale vertically but not able to scale horizontally. However, this system can't deliver fault tolerance and can't scale massively because of the vertical scaling limit. That does not mean we are completely giving up consistency or we are completely giving up availability in the distributed systems. If your system needs 100% availability, then you can't achieve the same 100% consistency. So there will be some inconsistencies in the data across nodes and it will become eventually consistent. The same goes with availability. If you want 100% consistency, that means you need to give up some percentage on availability. The system might not be available till this data across the nodes become consistent. I will try to explain this with an analogy. For example, I am starting a new restaurant in Wisconsin and I am starting to produce potato chips in this Wisconsin restaurant and people are really happy with my chips and this makes me to feel like I need to increase the availability across the country. So this is where the availability comes into the picture. Here the consistency is the consistent taste of the potato chips. So I am opening a restaurant in California and starting a different restaurant in Illinois. I am trying to get the local produce potato in California and Illinois. I am trying to make potato chips out of it. The original consumer who tasted my chips in Wisconsin felt the taste is not the same in California or Illinois. The sales drops in other locations other than Wisconsin. It is found that the change in the potato causing the taste inconsistency. So I want to use only the Wisconsin grown potato to make sure my chips stay the same taste across the country. So I am loading a Wisconsin grown potatoes and then distribute that to different chain of restaurants through truck. So every restaurant can use the same potato. So I started getting the consistent taste. But if there is some problem in the communication, let's take there are some road closed issue, which makes this transportation delayed. In that case, I need to wait for potato to arrive in other restaurants. Until then, my chips production will be stopped. This makes the restaurant other than Wisconsin will be unavailable. So here we are prioritizing the consistency over the availability. Once the issues are mitigated, then I can able to get the supplies delivered to California and Illinois. Then I can start chip production in all the restaurants. If I try to prioritize the availability over the consistency, I can use local grown potatoes till I get the Wisconsin grown potatoes. So there will be inconsistency for some time until the Wisconsin grown potatoes arrive. Once it is arrived, then we will get the consistency back. So this is eventual consistency. In the eventual consistency, the system will be inconsistent for certain time 
and then once the inconsistency resolved then all the nodes will become consistent that is the taste of the chips in some restaurants are out of sync for some time once the wisconsin grown potatoes arrive we will get the consistency back now we will compare this analogy to our distributed systems cap theorem here each restaurant is a single node in your distributed system and here the potatoes are the data and wisconsin restaurant is the primary node or the node where the read or write happens from the api the data inconsistency between the replication node is the taste difference between the restaurant when the wisconsin grown potatoes are not available and the restaurant use the local grown potatoes are you can to node serve the old out of sync data when the data are inconsistent the availability problem is compared to the momentary stop in the restaurant chips production when the wisconsin grown potatoes are not available so here if you try to draw this as a venn diagram consistency availability and partition tolerance here the consistency and partition tolerance can be achieved with mongodb availability and partition tolerance can be achieved with the cassandra the systems which provide consistency and partition tolerance are considered to be strongly consistent systems and the systems which provide availability and partition tolerance are considered to be eventual consistent system first we will see about strong consistency we will see about mongodb and how we will achieve consistency and partition tolerance mongodb is a no sql document database it only has a single primary node this is where all the read and write happens from the application api by default there can be more than one secondary node mongodb is a single master system and all the reads go to the primary by default this makes mongodb strongly consistent database by default the primary and the secondary nodes group together to form the replica set the replica set enable you to create up to 50 copies of the data which can be provisioned across separate nodes data centers are even different geographic regions heartbeat is used to identify the failure node among the replica set nodes this replica nodes send ping to each other every 2 second if any node doesn't ping back within 10 seconds the other nodes in the replica set mark it as inaccessible if the primary nodes becomes unavailable then mongodb cluster will initiate the primary node election among the replica set and elects the primary node in few seconds from the replica set here the cluster also takes care of switching over the client connection and also performs retrying the failed operation through mongodb's right concern you can ensure right operation propagate to a majority of replicas in the cluster with mongodb 5.0 right success will be acknowledged in the application once it has been committed and persisted to a disk on the majority of replicas Secondary node can accept read operations by modifying the default configuration. This makes MongoDB as eventual consistent database. Since there can be times when the secondary node can have out of sync data, eventual consistency. Next, we will see about Cassandra database, which will provide availability and partition tolerance by default. Whenever a system provides availability and partition tolerance, it is an eventual consistency system. In a Cassandra database cluster, unlike MongoDB, there is no master or primary node. Every node can perform all database operations, and each can serve client request. Data is partitioned across nodes based on a consistent hash of its partitioning key. This node, which gets request from the application for that particular data, is the coordinator node for that request. I have covered this in detail in the consistency hashing video. The link of which I have provided in the description. The replication factor determines the number of nodes in which the data need to be copied. Here, the coordinator node is the server instance four, and the replication factor is three. So, the coordinator replicates the income data in three other nodes. There are different consistency levels in the Cassandra database. Let's take if the consistency level is one, then the coordinator would have to wait until one out of the three replication nodes to acknowledge success. Consistency level can be quorum. In that case, the coordinator node will wait for 51 percentage of the replication node to acknowledge success. In this case, it is two replication nodes out of three. If the consistency level is all, then the coordinator node will wait for all the replication nodes to acknowledge success. This means 
this cassandra database move to strong consistency rather than eventual consistency with cassandra database it is possible to achieve strong consistency by making the consistency level to all but that is not preferred because cassandra database is used widely for available and partition tolerant system we can even replicate across different regions for higher availability and increased fault tolerance here we have two regions one is region 1 let's say it is us east and there is another region region 2 let's say it is us west there can be different consistency levels local one consistency level means the coordinator node expects successful acknowledgement from one replication node in the local cluster local quorum consistency level means the coordinator node expects 51 percentage of replication nodes successful acknowledgement from the local region that is 2 out of 3 replication nodes in the us east each quorum consistency level means the coordinator node expects 51 percentage of replication nodes successful acknowledgement from all the regions that is 2 out of 3 replication nodes from both us east and us west now we have seen what is cap theorem and we have seen what is strong consistency and what is eventual consistency with mongodb and cassandra database now we will see about pclc theorem the cap theorem states that in the distributed system whenever there is a issue we can either achieve consistency or availability it fails to consider the system operation in the normal state here pclc theorem was proposed by daniel j abadi in 2010 to address the correlation between the latency and consistency in the normal operations of distributed system PSLC is summarized as follows in the event of node failure a distributed system must choose between availability and consistency this is what PAC stands for else when running normally it must choose between latency or consistency here the latency is how much time it needs for each and every request to process successfully so here whenever there is a normal operation we need to consider whether the system need to behave consistent or whether the system need to return the result with very low latency mongodb is classified as pc plus ec system and during normal operation and partition failures it emphasizes consistency cassandra is pa plus el system that is during partition failure it favors availability during normal operation cassandra gives up consistency over lower latency in this video we have seen about cap theorem and we also seen about strong consistency eventual consistency with mongodb and cassandra database we also seen about pclc theorem thanks for watching this video if you find this video useful like this video share this content with your friends subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos on system design and in computer science topic thanks for watching